Hi, I'm Tony Peterson, principal of Riverview STEM Academy. Today we had a virtual tour with Aerojet Rocketdyne. Uh, it was a great opportunity for our children, um, kindergarten through fifth grade, 265 students, to uh, actually go to Aerojet on a, a virtual tour and visit them and see the uh, propulsion systems that they build and the rockets. We uh, got a chance to uh, have conversations with the Aerojet Rocketdyne engineers and some of their chief engineers, uh, people who actually are rocket scientists and tour um, what's the beginning of their uh, new museum. You ready to blast off? Yeah! All right. We're headed to visit Aerojet Rocketdyne, which is right down the road here in Rancho Cordova. Hi, I'm Linda Winkle. I'm an engineer here at uh, Aerojet Rocketdyne. I've been an engineer in aerospace for 36 years. Um, I started out as a great school student, just like you guys. Good morning, my name is David Danowitz. I'm also an engineer here at Aerojet Rocketdyne. I've been working here for 25 years now. Um, I do a lot of work in solid rocket motors. So this talks a little bit later this morning about liquid engines. I'm going to talk a little bit about solid rocket motors. Hello, and my name is Quentin, and my question is, how many tries did it take to get the first rocket into space? Hi, my name is Jasmine, and today my question for you is, do we break any laws of physics when we went into space? Hi, my name is Gavin. I was wondering, what is your fastest rocket? Hi, I'm Alexa, and my question is about space. If something happened to Earth, what planet will we go to next? Where do you get a lot of your resources to build a rocket? Um, how, how, does, how long does it take for a rocket to get to space? What would happen if there was gravity in space? Would all the rockets crash? What is, what is a rocket made of? Because I know it can't be something that will burn up or that will be ripped by the non-gravitational pull in space. How long does it take to make a rocket engine. Have you ever found any galaxies? The coolest thing to happen to me today was getting to uh, know when the next rocket, rocket launch is just so we can look it up and see it and uh, to just learn about the rockets and ask them questions. I liked it because I like to build stuff like robots and I kind of want to help the world when I grow up and to see what we, what we can do in the future, like build rockets, that's really inspiring to me. Hi, 